Winchester Mystery House is open now. Halloween already? Oh, yeah, they do Halloween big there. Crown Force Sarah Stinson is live uh, with a look in San Jose at what might scare us. Hi, Sarah. Oh yeah, Daria, the Lost in the House tour. This is a brand new paranormal experience that people can get. And this isn't just a gimmicky haunted house. This house, the Winchester House, actually has paranormal activity. There's been a lot of investigators who have come through here over the last 98 years. And actually, some of them never walked out alive. <laughs> That's why you now can be the investigator walking in just like we are right now. This is the type of experience you would get. Look behind this curtain right here. You can see the people dancing. That's what you think you see, but turn around the corner and wait, nobody's there dancing. What, what's that about? You often will feel or maybe see a flash of a, a ghost or a spirit sometimes in this house. That's what people who work here have experienced. And this is what this, ex this experience, this new tour that you can now do kind of plays off of. Now, speaking of people who work here, the general manager joins us right now. Walter Magnuson, thank you for joining us. Tell us, you know, a lot of your employees even already told us today that there's been some experiences where you feel the spirits. Oh, you certainly never feel alone here. <laughs> and a lot of our guests and employees have had strange things happen. And sometimes it's just footsteps and sometimes it's mm -hmm. a full physical manifestation. And this space here on the tour is truly where things are not as they seem. It looked like there was a beautiful party happening, but now we've stumbled over here and it's a little different. We can feel the spookiness in here. It's it's a beautiful area, of course, the Winchester House. But you, tell me why you wanted to create this brand new tour so people could get an experience what the the uh, investigators have. Well, I think there's tremendous interest in doing actual investigations here um, of the paranormal type, but often they can't really entertain a large number of people. It has to be a very small environment. It has to be quiet. The investigators need to do work. So this time of year, we really wanted to have some fun with that and use that as the base, but really, really celebrate it in a unique way that speaks to Halloween and all things Halloween. Yeah, and you know, while, you know, it's sort of like an experience, it's a tour, but this is an actual thing that happens here in the Winchester house. But since it is Halloween, you want to give people just the most fun time in here, and it probably feels very real, huh? Oh my gosh, it absolutely does. And you know, since the 20s, people have associated us with Halloween, and especially the locals, they really love coming here and celebrating the season. And I think this year, with everything going on inside the house and outside, it's just gonna be a, a real incredible experience. This is just part of the tour. There's so much to this house. There's the third floor, there's the basement. But tell me where we stumbled upon right now into this dining room. Well, I'll tell you, uh, it looks absolutely beautiful and it's set wonderfully, but um, some things are awry, and uh, this food doesn't look the freshest, and I think uh, some of the guests may have left. Ew, yeah, the cheese is molded, I mean, what? Yeah, it is It is absolutely gorgeous, and at night it's a little darker, yeah. so, uh, but yeah, something strange did happen here, and you're gonna discover that if you take the Lost in the House tour. Yeah, that's right, we're not giving you a Oh, we're not giving away by any means the end. So you have to actually be here to experience it. Of course, the lights are dimmer. Uh, and, you know, if people do want to come by and they're a little worried about COVID, what are you doing to, you know, make sure people are safe? Well, of course, we're requiring masks, and we align with the county and all of their safety protocols. And we've also reduced the tour sizing. So you are still in a tour group, but they're uh, significantly smaller sizes than we've done in the past. And say this is a little too spooky for the kids. There's another experience people can do as well, right? There is, there is, yes. I think it depends on your child. I have a five-year-old, and he loves all things spooky, so he, he loves this. But for those who might be a little timid, we have a beautiful outdoor festival. It's the Jack-O-Lantern Trail, and there's gorgeous visual displays and lights and illuminated jack-o'-lanterns, and uh, a lot of people are taking pictures and posting on social, and that's available outside, and you could purchase that as a standalone ticket. Very awesome. So if someone wanted to come here, they could come here as soon as tonight through the next month. And how can they get a ticket? They can. WinchesterMysteryHouse.com. And we're doing it for 30 nights. We started last weekend and goes through Halloween. So weekends to start, and then we'll start adding days in October. Only the brave can really come through here. What, what's been your response so far from people uh, coming by? 
They've enjoyed it, and very rarely are they able to go into the third floor, the servants' quarters area, and the basement at night, which are very active areas. So there's been a lot of excitement about that. That is something that is a treat for sure, especially because you really haven't done that before. So if you are the type of person who likes to get that heebie-jeebie feeling, not even to the Halloween, just in general, got to come by here and again you can come as soon as tonight through the next month for this extremely cool lost in the house tour i'll send it back to you guys <laughs> in the studio Ooh, thank you <laughs> thanks sarah only the brave john <laughs>